Okay friends, we are going to start by placing our front bodies over our back bodies with the wrong sides of the fabric facing together. Use a pin or a sewing clip to keep the shoulders perfectly aligned. Then use a sewing machine or a serger to sew both shoulders. Here is how it should look. Grab your neckband and fold it in half to align the shorter ends with the wrong sides of the fabric facing together. Use your serger to close this end. Now that you have your neckband closed in a full circle, fold it in half lengthwise and use pins or sewing clips to keep it folded like this. Don't think about pressing it yet to keep it folded as we are going to do that after it is sewn. To sew the neckband, open your shirt to expose the neckline and then divide it in four equal parts. To do so, we are going to match the seams on the shoulders and we are going to find the center back and the center front. I like to make a super small notch with my sewing scissors so I don't miss the exact spot. Now, take the center front and back and align them together to find the middle of that. Some people think that the other two points should be on the shoulders, but if you do this, you can see how the middle is not in the seam of the shoulders. So now, you are going to end up with four sections equally divided that we are going to use to match with our neckband. We are going to do the same thing with our neckband by dividing it in four equal parts. Then, we are going to match the seam of the neckband with our center back and the three remaining points. Pin everything in place. Take your shirt and start sewing it carefully with your serger or sewing machine. Make sure that the three edges of the three layers are aligned at all times and stretch the piece so you can evenly sew the band to the neck. Once you are done, you are going to end up with a neckline like this one. Now you can press it with the bodies as open or as I have it here. The next step is sewing the armhole bands to the armholes. The easiest way to do this is with the bodies as open. Take your band and fold it in half lengthwise. Take one end and match it with one armhole. Then you are going to do the same thing with the other end. Use pins to keep the rest of the band in place and sew it like we did with the neck. You are going to end up with something like this. Don't forget to press the seams towards the centers of the bodies to have a neat finish. To proceed with the next step, align the shirt from the sides with the right sides of the fabric facing together. Then, use your serger or a sewing machine to sew the side and you are going to do this on both sides of your tacta. Finally, we are going to finish up this pattern by making a nice hem. Use a gauge ruler to measure one half of an inch and fold the hem twice towards the wrong side of the fabric. Use a stretch stitch to sew along the hem. In this step, you can press the hem to help you keep the shape of the folds better. And as you can see, using a stretch stitch will help the garment keep its stretch for the comfort. And that's it! Here is the end result. Remember you can download this free tank top sewing pattern in 16 sizes at our website mygoldenthimble.com. If you like this pattern, please like, share and subscribe to our channel so we can keep making more sewing content for you. Thank you!